Dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss about Allen dose. What is mean by Allen dose? It is a membrane, okay, a membrane of amniotic egg that functions in respiration and excretion in birds and reptiles. Okay, and it plays a important role in the development of placenta in most mammals. Okay. It have a role. It has a role in respiration in birds and reptiles and play an important role in the development of placenta in most mammals. So the allantois is a membrane of amniotic egg. So the allantois is a structure found in an egg. Okay. In the case of reptile, which helps in respiration and excretion. You can see the egg of an egg. A reptile okay it's a leathery shell you can find the embryo here amniotes around the embryo a yolk sac which and a chorion and an allantois here you can find the allantois okay this green color one allantois of this reptiles and birds and mammals and in mammals this allantois helps in the development of placenta okay this is the placenta and in reptiles and birds, it helps in respiration and excretion. Okay. Here you can see the allantois of the neonate. The functions of allantois are that they store insoluble nitrogenous waste matter, uric acid, etc., and function as extra embryonic lung. And gaseous exchange taking place between blood and external air through this allantois. And it carries on excretion, respiration and nutrition. Allantois function as a soft elastic cushion for protecting the embryo from shock. And allantois helps in the formation of umbilical cord. So this allantois store insoluble nitrogenous waste matter. And it function as extra embryonic lens. And gaseous exchange taking place between blood and external air through it. It carries excretion, respiration, nutrition. Allantois function as a soft elastic cushion for protecting the embryo from shock. Okay. And then the allantois helps in the formation of umbilical cord. This is the this all are the functions of allantois. You know, this allantois is endodermal in origin, okay, which look like a caudal outpocketing of the yolk sac. And it involved in early hematopoiesis. Okay. Hematopoiesis is the formation of blood cells. Okay. And the allantois blood vessels or artery and vein becomes the umbilical vessels. So, this allantois helps in the formation of development of placenta in mammals. And the allantois blood vessel, artery and vein becomes the umbilical vessels. The remnants of allantois become the Uracus ligament that connects the belly button to the bladder. Okay. The remnant of allantois become the uracus ligament that connects the belly button to the bladder. You know this allantois appears in third week as a diverticulum from the caudal wall of the yolk sac. Okay. This is the yolk sac and this is the allantoic blood vessel and this is the allantois. Okay. So this allantois appears in third week as a diverticulum okay diverticulum from the caudal wall of the yolk sac that extends into the connecting stock okay this is the connecting stock this allantois extends into the connecting stock during the folding of the embryo as part of allantois is incorporated into the hindgut during the folding of this embryo a part of allantois okay part of allantois is incorporated into the hindgut of the embryo and during the second month of pregnancy the extra embryonic part of allantois degenerate okay this is the allantois during the second month the extra embryonic part of the allantois degenerates so this allantois appears in third week as a diverticulum 
from the caudal wall of the yolk sac that extends into the connecting stir during the folding of the this embryo a part of allantois is incorporated okay into the hind gut of the embryo and the during the second month of uh, pregnancy the extra embryonic part of the allantois degenerates you know this umbilical cord is so developed from allantois here you can see the picture of allantois in a chick embryo in mammalian embryo the allantois contribute blood vessel to the developing umbilical cord okay this is the umbilical blood vessel actually this is contributed by the allantois in birds you can see the allantois here well the allantois derived as an outpouching of the gut and serves to store the uric acid and excreted uric acid excreted in the urine of birds okay in birds this they serves to store uric acid during the development the allantois of bird embryo expands to form sac that eventually fuses with the overlying chorion just under the egg shell the fusion of allantois and the chorion form a functional function, functioning unit the chorio allantoic membrane we discussed about the function of allantois in mammals that's the formation of blood vessels in placenta and the formation of umbilical cord all are the functions of allantois in mammals in birds what will happen is that the chorion is fused with allantois and form a chorio allantoic membrane okay in which embryonic blood vessels carried in the allantois are brought close to the porous egg shell for gaseous exchange so the fusion of allantois and chorion form a functional unit and this is called chorio allantoic membrane this mem membrane carry this membrane brought close to the porous egg shell for gas exchange the chorio allantoic membrane is this the respiratory membrane of bird embryo okay so in the birds they functions in the storage of uric acid and and function as a respiratory membrane so this is the chorion in birds this allantois fuses with chorion and form chorio allantoic membrane it functions as a respiratory membrane okay in gaseous exchange hope you understood the facts about the allantois in birds reptiles and mammals thank you for watching